We've got the uh, 8 lug Pro RMK in here today. We're going to be doing uh, installing the our Pro strap kit to replace the quarter turn Zeus fasteners. This is just going to be a quick installational video so you uh, have a good idea of what you're doing. Okay, this is all you're going to need. You're going to need a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, Torx 40, the ratchet. You got a 10 millimeter open end, 5 millimeter Allen wrench, tape measure, and a silver pencil if you got one, it'll just make things easier. You're going to start by taking, to get the hood off, you're going to start by taking these torques out, these torque screws. If you've taken your hood off before, you know all about them. That's what holds the back of the hood down. Then we're going to remove the hood, take the side panels off. Just push darts on both sides of the, the hood. Um, I got these fancy homemade, uh, they were Oedeker clamp players. I shaved them down to fit these push darts to get them out, but you can use a flathead screwdriver as well. Well, I guess I lied to you. Probably a pair of pliers and a flathead screwdriver will be necessary as well. Get these clips out. Um, it's not hard, it just requires a little a little bit of uh, grip. Again, it's not hard. You just gotta pry this up, get it up over those little tabs that are in there. There's a couple tabs right there that hold it in place. And they fall out. Front's the same way. Last thing in getting the hood off is unplugging the Speedo. Okay, side panels, hoods are off, hoods off, side panels are off. Now we can start installation. We're gonna we can do everything kind of on a bench or on the, on the back of the snowmobile as far as the side panels are concerned. So you've got these little clips on the back side here that are used to hold on the, the quarter turn if you're taking your side panels off. So the quarter turn doesn't fall out in the snow. Um, so what I use is I use a pair of side cutters. You can mess with it and try to get them off, but it's really not not really not worth it when you can just cut them off. So you're gonna take you're gonna take a short strap. You're gonna take a short strap. You're gonna take one of these. Just a shoulder. Insert that piece there, which goes through. The back side of the panel. Put the washer and the nut on. I just usually tighten these up snug until you get it exactly where you want it. Just leave it loose like this so that once you get your angle you can tighten it up where so the strap's not tight down here but it needs to latch up here. In the front we're going to take one of these catches and actually attach and, and put it through the front hole of the, of the side panel. Same thing, 10 millimeter open end and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. I center it in the hole, the hole slotted, but I just center it. Now's a good time to talk about not over tightening these. They are just aluminum. So if you reef on them, you're going to snap one, and you don't want that. And this particular one you can snug up. OK, 
Okay, here's the nose of the machine. We're going to measure from this corner here forward two and a quarter inches. Make a mark. This is why I say it's good to have a silver pencil. This isn't rocket science. It doesn't have to be exactly two and a quarter, but it gives you a ballpark. Two and a quarter, seven eighths down. We're going to drill a quarter inch hole right there. Long strap, the diamond shaped um, or triangle shaped fastener. Get, this is the only reason why you took the hood off. Flat washer, flat washer, and a nut, nylon lock nut on the back side. So you got to think this is where You gotta remember this is where we would normally be going to with the quarter turn. So that's where the strap is gonna live. It's gonna live down here. I tight I usually put it just like this at about that angle. It's something you can just mess with. It's again not super scientific here, but in order to get it to lay right, you want it to cosmetically look good when it's on the sled and it will come down and twist. So um, I usually try to make it as look good as I can up here. The only thing that's hold, the only way you can hold this one is just with your thumb. Once it gets tight enough and gets sucked into the rubber, you'll get it plenty tight. Tight. Okay, front's installed, the front straps are installed on the hood, so we put the hood back on. Make sure you uh, make sure you remember to put in the torque screws behind the handlebars to hold the back of the hood down, the push darts, and then last but not least, don't forget to plug back in your plug back in your speedo. Okay, put the side panel back on, hook the front strap in place. This is where we're going to line up here in the back. We're going to make our mark and drill our hole for this piece here. What we do is we lay it down unstretched, make a little mark with the silver pencil, then measure a half an inch beyond that and drill our hole. So I'm just push, pushing down with my thumb here, making a little V. So from the point of that V, Measure a half an inch out, drill your hole there. And that'll give you your pull so it's tight. Okay, you can take the side panel can, off again or just drop it. Sure you're not drilling it into anything behind here. Take one of these catches.
and tight. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to tighten up this last piece on the side panel that we left snug. We now know that we want it to run like that, so keep your strap in place. Go ahead, snug that up. Latch there. The finished product. Get the front straps on, the rear strap is on, you're good to go. You can get into your hot dogger pretty fast without taking your gloves off Shameless now. plug to George at 8 Lug Truck Gear. It's his sled, obviously. Uh, if you guys are into diesels, uh, three-quarter ton or bigger, he's, uh, he's really good at what he does. He's repped some of the, some of the better brands out there. He's kind of like us. He's got, uh, he's got a conscience and he wants to sell you only the best. Sled's complete, all except for the front bumper. Front bumper, I'm not sure what he's waiting on, but uh, you know the rest of the sled's done. Zebro springs, uh, rocks flex deck handguards, fly <clears throat> racing Dan Adams windshield bag vented. We got the uh, we got a backcountry two E series tunnel bag, Dan Adams rear bumper, and of course we got skins running boards on this thing, pro tubes, skins uh, seat cover and uh, eventually there'll be a skins bumper on this one. The only thing left to say is graphics are from SCS. Tyler's an awesome dude. Give him a shout. He does great work. Their, their product is top quality. It's the only thing that we've used or will use. We got my sled back there that's wrapped with SCS. My son's sled over here that's wrapped with SCS. One in the back there. Well, that one will get a wrap in the, in the summertime. Daughter's going to ride it the way it is for now.